Hello everyone, this is Jamaluddin Jami, your career coach. Welcome you all to our regular episode, The Art of Speaking. The Art of Speaking. And today we are going to learn very important topic of English language. And that is word stress. We know very well English language itself is a stressed based language on which syllable we give stress based on that the meaning of our spoken words depends a lot because if we give a stress on wrong syllable the total meaning is changed even the same word can be pronounced to different ways based on stress let's learn the stress it is important part of english language not flat it's more dancing language practicing what is stress there are two very simple rules about stress first thing we need to know that one is stress one word as one is stress if you heard two stresses in word word in one word be sure there wasn't one word there were two words more than one word so one word has one is stress be careful about that number two we can give stress on vowels sounds only not consonants so consonant will not be stressed vowels will be stressed for examples see the example same word the last two present and present two word and pronouncing in two different ways present 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 so your absence or presence present or gift present but present if i going to demonstrate something or present something see the first one present when it is used as a noun the stress is on first syllable if i am going to use it as a verb the stress is on second syllable see in a word a sentence i'm going to use it thank you very much those who are present here i'm going to present my presentation see thank you very much those who are present here present present the stress will be on primary one beginning present i'm going to present my presentation the stress is on the second syllable present same let's start from the father father the stress is on the first syllable father father saturday the stress is on first syllable saturday three syllables are there if you want to know what are the syllables i would recommend you to go back to my all about syllables video learn some i mean learn first what is syllables then come back here to learn the stress because if you want to pronounce english word by yourself seeing the dictionary you need to know what is stress you need to know what is syllables phonemes as well so first you need to know the phonemes i mean 45 ps symbols sounds then you need to know syllables all about syllables and finally you need to know stress because english language itself is a stress based language like the word further how many syllables are there Fa there are two syllables and first one will be stressed father father the word saturday how many syllables are there Sa -der -day. three syllables and first one will be stressed saturday saturday second one present how many syllables are there two syllables present and first one will be stressed person present make it second one fantastic how many syllables are there three syllables fantastic 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 Last one, fanatics, fanatics. How many syllables? Three syllables, fanatics, fanatics. The middle one will be stressed. Last one, present, present. The last syllable, two syllable, present. And last syllable will be stressed. Now, you may think, you might be started, starting thinking, what is syllable? And what should be the characteristics of the syllable? What are the rules? Why the first one will be stressed? Why not the second one? If the second one, why not the first one? What about, what about if we have polysyllabic words or four dry syllabic words? What will be there? A lot of questions might have come in your mind. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give you the answers on the all of your questions. Characteristics of a stressed syllable is important to know. When you give a stress on a particular syllable, that word will be pronounced a bit louder, a bit louder, even a bit longer. And your pitch, there are three P 
pitches. So the lower one, middle one, and the upper one. So your pitch will be changed. So three things will occur. These three things are the characteristics of a stressed word or stressed syllable. That is loudness, length, and pitch change. If a syllable is stressed, that will be pronounced a bit louder, a bit longer, and your pitch will be changed. So these three are the characteristics of a stressed syllables. So two types of stresses are there. There are mainly two types of stresses, primary one, the secondary one. And primary stress is marked by an upper vertical line. See the open in vertical line. See the upper one. It's just oh, open. So open, the upper vertical line is the mark of our primary syllable. And secondary, primary stress. Secondary stress is marked by a lower, lower vertical line. See the education. Primary syllable is K and a secondary syllable is O. See the lower vertical line before A sound. A, A, education, education. We'll be focusing on mainly on primary syllable and we'll learn details, rules and regulations of our primary syllable and that will be enough. There are nine rules, very easy to learn these nine rules, okay? If you face any problem, come back again and again and take this video as your reference for random using to learn the details of stress especially what is stress so how to find out the stress rule number one shua never appears within a stressed syllable as it is unstressed by nature we learned before about when we learned all about syllables we learned that shua is the weak syllable and it also are the weak syllables and when shua is the weak syllable and shua never ever i mean the sound uh, never ever will be the stressed syllable in a word if there are two words so it's easy to give the stress i mean two syllables in a word if there are two syllables it's easy for you to give the stress just minus the shua because that will not be stressed never ever it will be stressed okay so the word teacher how many syllables are, are there two syllables t ch 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 contains shua sound and that will not be stressed the first syllable will be stressed teacher second one about about so two syllables about so uh is the shua and that will not be stressed because it is a weak syllable second one bout will be stressed about about so I think you are clear with the first rule that Shua never appears within a stressed syllable. Shua will not be stressed. If you have other syllables, syllable with Shua, that will be stressed as per the rule and Shua will not be stressed. That was rule number one. So come to rule number two. Every monosyllabic word is stressed, but no stress mark is given on it. So whenever you have any monosyllabic word like cat, dog, cow, how, now, go, so, snow. This kind of word, monosyllabic word, one syllable is there. So that will be stressed always, but you'll not find any stress mark in the dictionary, whether it is Cambridge or Oxford one, doesn't matter. That was rule number two. Now come to rule number three. Most of the common two syllable nouns and adjectives have a stress on the first level. I mean, if it is noun, or adjectives and it is two syllables most of the cases the stress will go for first syllable again i'm telling you if it is noun or adjective and two syllables most of the cases stress will be on first syllable sister brother mother water paper table so that is rule number two if you ha have adjective or nouns and they are two syllabic word the stress will go for first syllable okay most of the cases. Rule number four, most of the affixes are not stressed. So what are the affixes? Affixes mean prefix or suffix. I mean, aside from the root word or stem word, affix or prefix will not be stressed. Like bout the word, uh, is the affixes, I mean prefix, that will not be stressed. Bout will be stressed. Amount, mount is the root word. So uh, will not be stressed. Mount will be stressed. Uh, count, count is the root word. So count will be stressed, not uh, uh, will not be stressed. Achievement, month is the 
suffix we know very well it is not root word so achieve is the root word so achieve will be stress okay let's go for rule number five rule number five words that can be used either as a noun i mean as i talked with you before that if uh, a word is used either by a noun or verb i mean there are some words that can be used by uh, as a noun or verb so if the similar word is used as a noun the stress will be on first syllable and if it is used as a verb the stress will be on second syllable see the word present 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 perfect 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 suspect 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 project 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 import 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 increase 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 conduct 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 insult 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 it was an insult for me he insulted me it was an insult so he stresses on the beginning he it was an insult for me it is used as a noun it was an insult for me he insulted me he insulted me he insulted me i insulted him so as a verb the stress is on the second syllable so rule number five is very simple there are similar kind of words that can be used either verb or noun if it is used noun or adjective the stress will be on first syllable if it is used as a verb the stress will be on second syllable so that is rule number five easy to remember right Rule number six, in two syllable verbs, stress is always on the strong syllable. Let's come for the verb. If it is two syllable in the verb, the stress will go for strong syllable. We know that weak syllables and strong syllables. So shua is weak syllable, it is weak syllable, u is weak syllable. So these three are the weak syllables. And among the syllables, diphthongs are the most strongest ones. So, if you want to learn syllables, go back to the video of syllable. If you want to learn diphthongs or monophthongs, go back to learn the phonemes, vowel sounds, and consonant sounds as well. So, you will learn them and come back again this video to learn the stress one. Okay? So, center, the word center, 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 or sender. Two syllables, sender. So, der contains schwa sound, that is weak syllable. So the first one will be stress. Center, center, equal, equal, open, open. See the open, o, pun. Pun contains sure, that is weak syllable. So stress will be on the beginning, first one. Open, so diphthong, that is more strong one. Open, open will be stress. Open, for final position, see? A seest, a seest. So two syllables, a seest, a contains sure. So that will not be stressed. Second one consists e. So that will be stressed. Assist, assist, back, back, up, back. So a uh, is a weak syllable. That will not be stressed. Back is a strong one. That will be stressed. A uh, back, back, arrive, arrive. See, a uh, is a weak syllable. That will not be stressed. I is a strong one. So arrive, arrive. Second, arrive. Second one will be stressed. Arrived. So that was rule number six. If you have verbs and if it is two syllable syllabic words, so two syllables were two syllable words that will I mean stress will be one the strong syllable that is rule number six. Let's go for rule number seven. In three syllable verbs, that previous one rule number six was on two syllable verbs. If three syllable verbs, if final syllable is strong, then it will be stressed. If final syllable is not strong, weak syllable, so stress will be on the middle one. So rule is simple. If the verb is, if you have three syllables in the verb, if the final syllable is strong, that will be stressed. For example, entertain, two syllable, entertain. And last one, the final one, a sound is there. That is the strongest one among the syllables. So entertain, last one will be stressed. Entertain, ascertain, ascertain, same goes. But if the final syllable is weak, then second syllable will be stressed. See, in 
counter. Final syllable contains schwa sound. That is weak syllable. So second syllable will be stressed. Encounter, encounter, encounter. Next one. D, ter, min. D, ter, min. Last one is stress. E, ter, determine, determine, determine. Er, long sound. This is a uh, strong syllable. Okay? I think you have understood the rule number seven. Let's go for rule number eight. In a disyllabic or trisyllabic word, if the final syllable contains O sound, then the primary stress will go for in the beginning. I mean, for trisyllabic or trisyllabic words, if final syllable contains O sound, the stress will be, will go for the first syllable. See the word radio. How many syllables are there? Three syllables, ray, D, O. And last one contains O sound. So that will not be stressed. And stress will go for the first one. Ray, radio, radio, audio, radio, audio, window, auto, automobile, automobile, photo, 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 demo, demo, video, disco, borrow, borrow, cello, cello, cargo, cargo, buffalo, 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 buffalo. See? So the rule is very simple. If you have disyllabic or trisyllabic word and the last syllable contains O sound, the stress will go for the first syllable. Very easy to understand. Not that much easy. Rule number nine. If any word contains shun, then the primary stress will put on its shun preceding syllable. Like uh, if any word contains shun sound at the end, the previous syllable will be stressed. Let's see some examples. Vacation. See how many syllables are there? Vacation. Three syllables. And last syllable contains shun. That will not be stressed. The previous one will be stressed. So K will be stressed. Vacation. Vacation. Nation. 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 Section. Section. Action. Action. Satisfaction. 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 Relation, lay will be stressed. Relation, relation, qualification, cation will be K will be stressed. Qualification, qualification, purification, purification, cation will be stressed. Punctuation, Asian, A will be stressed. Punctuation, population, 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 lation, lay will be stressed. Population, orientation, 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 T will be stressed. Orientation, organization, organization, zation, they will be stressed. Organization, opposition, opposition, z will be stressed. Opposition, 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 occupation, occupation, occupation. What's your occupation? Pay, pay will be stressed. Occupation, immigration, immigration, gray will be stressed. Immigration, imitation, imitation. Tay will be stressed. Imitation, hesitation, hesitation, tation, tay will be stressed. Hesitation, hesitation, hesitation. So that was rule number three. So that was all nine rules about the stress. The basic rules actually to learn the basics of English phonetics and phonology, especially the stress. So that will be enough, I think, if you want to be a natural speaker, more like native sounding speaker. So that will be enough to learn about the stress. I mean, what is stress? Thank you very much for being part of our learning program. Don't forget to subscribe the channel if you want to be with us with more videos and learning.